Today was day seven of the kidnapping and uh, murder trial for Christopher Clements. He's accused of killing six-year-old Isabel Celis in 2012. So Clements was already convicted of killing 13-year-old Maribel Gonzalez in 2014. Last fall, he was sentenced to life in prison for that murder. Cameras are not allowed in the courtroom for this high-profile case. But News for Tucson's Lupita Murillo has been following the story from the very beginning and was inside the courtroom again today and has the latest on today's proceedings. On the stand, an FBI agent who questioned Christopher Clements before the remains were found, and also a TPD detective who took a deep dive into Christopher Clements' financial and phone records. On the stand, a 25-year veteran of the FBI, Tony Taylor, responded to the scene in 2012. He was the FBI's SWAT team leader and was the liaison between the FBI and TPD and provided assistance. Fast forward to February 8, 2017. He responded to a call that came in on the public service line saying Christopher Clements had information on the location of Isabel Celis. Clements could be contacted at the Pima County Jail. Agent Taylor made the arrangements with the jail and spoke with Clements on February 10th. Clements asked to have charges dropped on an unrelated case and to have his car taken out of impound. In return, he would lead them to the location where the remains of Isabel Celis could be found. The state agreed. On March 3rd, he led FBI and other law enforcement officers to Avra Valley and Trico Roads. The agent told jurors Clements said the remains could be found by a large tree with brush underneath. The agents located some of the remains. Prosecutor Tracy Miller questioned Detective Jeff Lockwood. He's a 17-year veteran of TPD. He responded to the Salas neighborhood on April 22, 2012, and joined in the search for the missing child. Five years later, he was at Abra Valley and Trico Roads searching for her remains. He's now in the homicide unit. He looked into the phone records of Christopher Clements. He told jurors six months prior to the child's disappearance, he found the Salas phone number had been called six times by the phones owned by Clements. The calls lasted from zero seconds to seven seconds. Testimony resumes tomorrow morning at 1030. Reporting from downtown, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.